Welcome to Landmark, where we look at the magic behind some of the world's most famous places. Today we're in the Gordon Institute in Cambridge to meet with the Nobel Prize winning biologist John Gordon. The Gordon Institute provides an environment for scientists in the fields of cancer research. The institution was founded by John Gordon, a pioneering biologist who specializes in cloning. In a groundbreaking experiment in 1958, he successfully cloned a frog, one of the first examples of animal cloning. This directly guided the techniques used in creating the famous Dolly, the sheep. Today, we are meeting with Professor Gordon to discuss the relationship between magic and his unique field of science. Thank you for having us uh, today in your institute, John. Have you always wanted to be a scientist in your life? Uh, yes, but this was not possible at school. And uh, your most famous experiment was about cloning. Yes. Tell us more about that. The purpose of that experiment was to ask if all cells have the same genes or not. And that's what the experiment was intended to tell us about, and it answered that question. Now, I have prepared something special for you that can bridge magic and science. Usually magicians are using cards as cards, but this can be boring. So I want to use cards as frogs. And I have here for you 52 different frogs. That they are all different because their DNA is different. As you know, we are all different because our code is different. Now, please, tell me stop wherever you want and choose your favorite frog. All right, let's say the... Here? Yeah? Okay. Please, I... have a look at this frog. Don't show yeah. it to me. And remember this frog. Now, can you give him a name? Any name you want. Um, let's call it Diamond. Diamond. And let's stick Diamond together with all the other frogs. We're going to shuffle Diamonds together with all the other frogs because Diamond is a very social frog. Now, yes. can I see your hand? Uh, yes. Wow, fantastic. Because I see that in your hand there is the DNA of diamond. So I want to collect from your sleeves the cloning tool that we are using for this experiment. And I'm going to collect the DNA of diamond. Now, can you please extract the DNA of diamond and transfer magically the DNA in all the other frogs? Fantastic. Hold it for one second. I know that seems unbelievable, but you have done something really magical because all the cards turn in being all diamonds. And this can be enough, but once I did this uh, illusion in Oxford, and the guy said to me, but actually not all the cards turn into diamonds, because we still have one card, the cloning tool that you're holding in your hands, that is not diamond. But I said, actually, he's right, because not all the cards turn to in being diamond. But I thought, okay, wait a second, can I have your card? The cloning tool has still some DNA of uh, diamond, so what we can do is that we can just shake the DNA of diamond and turn also the cloning tool in diamond. And if we blow on diamond and we take the DNA and we throw the DNA away, what happens is that also diamond can turn in being again the cloning tool. And if we stick the cloning tool together with all the other frogs, we just snap the fingers and remove the DNA, all the cards are returning being all different again. It's an amazing trick. I, I, I can't see how you do it. <laughs> Gordon's experiments are scientific landmarks, but are also pure magic. Today, we have truly seen the union of magic and science.